Greetings, YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a Wi-Fi battle I had uh, yesterday with uh, Adrian. So let's get things things started. All right. So I so he sends out his scissor, and I send out my Scarmony. Now here he swaps out and goes into his Talon Flame. I mean, I'm thinking to myself, he's just gonna, I'm gonna set up entry hazards just to uh, get things going. He goes for the Flame Blitz. And I live it. Even if I didn't live it, I have a Focus Sash. So I throw up some a second set of spikes. And then I pretty much figured, eh, I'm just going to let him take my Skarmony because my Skarmony isn't going to be able to do much anyways. So, bye bye Skarmony. That one's gone. So next I switch into my Tyranitar. Sandstream activates. Talon Flame receives a bit more damage, and he nope, he swaps out. I forgot. He sends out his Guard Chomp. Now here, I knew he was going to go for an Earthquake to wipe out my Tyranitar. He takes a Stone Edge that I was intending to uh, give to my Talon Flame, to that Talon Flame of his. So I switch into Sylveon for some reason. I have no idea what I was thinking because Sylveon can't really take many physical attacks. But Sylveon does take the Earthquake, but then I let then I pretty much let him take it. Cause I didn't want to really switch anything into that at that point. So now at this point I switch into my Blast Toys, hoping to hit him with an ice beam. And then he swaps out into Scizor. Now I'm thinking to myself, now of course he, Scissor takes the ice beam that I had intended for him. Now, I swapped out because I thought he might hit him with something, but realistically it was most likely because he knew I wouldn't have any moves that would, he thought I didn't have any moves that would hurt him. But that'll come back to bite him later. So I didn't, so I send him my Ferrothorn, and he takes the bullet punch. I figure while I'm in, I'm gonna throw up some, uh, Stealth Rock to give more uh, entry hazards to, to give some punishment whenever he switches in. He goes for the Roost. I'm like, alright, fair enough. God, I love my Ferrothorn. So he U-turns and switches into his Gengar. I go for the lead seed. And that pretty much helps heal up my Ferrothorn. Back to almost full health. So thinking that he might hit me with something that's going to hurt, I switch into my Blastoise. He goes for the Mega. He then tries to do Will-O-Wisp, but... It misses, surprisingly. And so my Blastoise gets up to full health thanks to my Ferrothorn Sleep Seed. He switches back into Scizor. Now at this part, I was a, I'm was i getting annoyed. So I had to make a Guard Chop on a team I could have used. But instead, I decide I'm going to go for a Mega Blastoise. So I activate eighth, the Mega Evolution. And there's Mega Blastoise. I then hit the scissor with a water pulse, which finish, which kills it, which surprised me. I didn't really expect it to finish it because I was meant for Gengar, but oh well, I'll take it. 
So he switches back into his Mega Gengar, and I hit him with Water Pulse again. But of course, not before he outspeeds me and throws a Shadow Ball, which Blastoise takes, because Blastoise has some pretty sweet uh, special defense. So Water Pulse finishes the job. Uh, these entry hazards have been so helpful in this battle. So he sends out his Togekiss. I go for the Ice Beam, and I outspeed it. Now here is where I'm like, sweet luck. It freezes him. I'm like, thank God. And so I finish, so I finish off his Toga Kiss with another Ice Beam. I'm actually surprised at how well this bla my Blastoise did this battle. I didn't expect him to take out three of his pokes, let alone one. <laughs> Because some, because somebody had told me that the Blastoise sucks, but turns out that's not the case. So he sends out his zero mill. Knowing I can't do much to this thing, I swap back into my Ferrothorn, and boy am I glad I did this switch. Because it goes for a play rough, and I'm thinking, hmm, that play rough would have hurt if I stayed in. So Ferrothorn takes it like a champ, and I go for the Power Whip. But because Ferrothorn is pretty slow, he goes for the switch and switches into into his Talon Flame. I believe is what he's gonna do. And yep, he springs out his Tel Tel Flame. Now I pretty much swap out because I know that Ferrothorn is so Talon Flame. Of course, takes the Power Whip. If I'm like, okay, let's get out of here, Ferrothorn, because I know Ferrothorn can't take a fire hit for the life of him. So, in comes Tyranitar to finish off his Tallow Flame, which pretty much the entry hazards have whittled away at this point. He goes for the t Flame Blitz. Which just, of course, doesn't do much to his Tyranitar, but he does get a burn off of it. And gets hit with recoil damage, and then Sandstorm finishes it off. Now at this point, he doesn't have much pokes left. He has his Ezreal Mill and his Garchomp. So he sends out his Garchomp. I didn't want to switch at this point. I'm like, okay, you, you can take my uh, Tyranitar this time. So he takes out the Tyranitar be expected. So I sent on my Blastoise hoping to outspeed him. And of course, he I don't outspeed him and he finishes off my Blastoise with Outrage. So there's that Blastoise down. So, at this point I'm running out of options. All I have left is this Ferrothorn and the Gart Chomp. And I know that the guard jump is going to get killed if I send him out at this point. So, I'm at this point, I'm like, okay, let's finish it off with Power Whip quickly. <laughs> Especially as this he has this berry that wipes away his confusion. So he's ready to deal out more punishment. The Power Whip misses. I'm thinking to myself, GG at this point, you win. Thinking he has a fire move. But instead... He goes for Earthquake. I'm like, alright. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. Ferrothorn survives it. Finishes him off with Power Whoop, which doesn't miss this time. Now all he has left is his Azir Mill. I pretty much knew I had this one at this point, because his Azir Mill is not going to be able to do anything to my Ferrothorn. He goes for the Aqua Jet. And because of Iron Barbs, he gets hurt. His Azure is almost done at this point. Now, I go for Gyre Ball, forgetting that water type is, does, uh, is, that's, seeing that water is resistant to Gyre Ball. I completely forgot about that, but that doesn't matter. Because he just kills himself with his Aqua Jet right here anyways. And so that was that.
That was a pretty fun battle. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe and I will try to do more of these in the future. Till then, see you later YouTube.